Between 10 and 15 years before Christ, the Roman Emperor Augusto created the Lulia Augusta Faventia Paterna Barthino colony, or just Barthino. Time before, this place was guarded by the Mojuic Mountains because it had already attracted Lachitanos, Greeks and Carthaginians. To prevent attacks, the Romans' fortifications were reinforced with defensive towers in the 4th century. The wall's perimeter was integrated into the current Gothic quarter in Ciutat Bea. Nevertheless, the walls could not avoid the Visigoths' occupation in 415, the Muslims' occupation in the 7th century, and the Carolingians' conquest in 801 that will turn the city into the capital of Barcelona County. The old Roman military base had transformed into an important commercial core, which was locked in a fortified enclosure. Outside, there were some villages like San Pedro de las Puegges or Villanova del Mar. Currently in this area, there are two which remain, San Pedro Santa Catarina and La Ribera. To protect the new core, the conqueror, Jaime, made his people build, in the 13th century, new walls that will cover the current Ramblas on the west part. The century after, the ceremonious Pedro III enlarged the walls and included the Raval Agricultural Corps. This plotting defined today the principal limits of the Ciutat Bea district. In 1348, the Black Death set on stages of decay. Those stages brought bad harvests with political and social tensions, as well as the Reapers' War in 1640. The siege and the fact that Barcelona fell into the Succession War in 1714 with the Bourbon troops of Philippe V could not stop the economy renewal characterized by the agricultural innovation and the commercial vitality. Ciotat Vea had an intense industrialization and the factories multiplied in areas like the Barcelona which was born in 1753. The old walls were annoying and they had to be pulled down in the beginning of 1854. Barcelona's defenses could not contain the convents, palaces, theatres, cafes from the factories and workers at Tenios. Ciotat Bea became an entry to the people, culture and trade, a place that was built to coexistence life for centuries.